Okay, so listen, at one point or another on this channel, I talked about alternate suits that I want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2. But something very interesting happened in that gameplay demo that made me want to make this video. You see, there's a part in the gameplay demo where we see a bit of a thicker looking Spider-Man where the symbiote's kind of encasing him. And right after that moment, then we get the peeling back and the actual reveal of the symbiote suit that we have in Marvel Spider-Man 2, which is what I assume to be the base symbiote suit. Now, this suit might change over time throughout the game. We have no idea, but the point is that people are theorizing that that part with the symbiote encasing you might be a little in between animation to transition you into whatever symbiote suit you have selected. And honestly, the more that I think about it, the more that that makes sense. And it's exactly why I wanted to make this video here today and go over seven symbiote suits that I think need to be in Marvel Spider-Man 2. Before we do so though, if you cannot wait for this game, if you want to see a bunch of different symbiote suits yourself, I want you to scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button share the hype with me let's go for 4,000 likes on this one come on let's now jump into this i don't want to waste any of your guys's time okay starting off the list is the classic symbiote suit i feel like i don't really need to go into too much of an explanation here because it's in the name it's self-explanatory this suits a classic and to be honest again insomniac i think did overall a good job with their interpretation of the symbiote suit in marvel spider-man 2 it just could be a little bit better but you know we got that classic logo on the chest we got the big white eyes all of that stuff's working very well for me but i know a lot of people out there want to see just a regular classic suit maybe even a cloth version just a regular smooth symbiote suit it's one that i'm sure a lot of people want and i think is a very safe assumption to say that it's probably going to be in this game and then next up is another one that a ton of people are definitely going to have on their list and that is the symbiote suit from the sam raimi films spider-man 3 in particular and this is another reason why i brought up the theory at the beginning of the video because some people out there are worried that we might not get the suits that we had in spider-man ps4 imported into spider-man 2 now i don't necessarily think that's going to be the case in fact what i think insomniac is probably going to do is look at some of the greatest hits that they had from the last game and bring them into the next one but even if by some chance we miss out on the raimi suit the regular red and blues being in spider-man 2 that doesn't mean that there isn't going to be the symbiote suit from spider-man 3 in here now granted we would miss out on the full immersion of having the red and blue suit and the symbiote suit from the Sam Raimi film so that we can switch between them but it still would be awesome to see the Sam Raimi symbiote suit in this game it's such a cool design and I still replay that moment in my head from Spider-Man 3 where we first see the suit revealed to us the score oh my goodness I get goosebumps just thinking about it and again I just hope that Insomniac does still include the Raimi suit from Spider-Man PS4 in Spider-Man 2 so that we can just switch between the red and blue and then the black suit that would be amazing just as amazing as it would be if you subscribe to the channel right now and turned on those notifications because well if you didn't then i'm gonna put some dirt in your eye next up on the list i have a cell shaded symbiote suit but specifically the one from the 90s animated series if there is one thing that is missing from the symbiote suit that i feel like a lot of us can agree on it's a purple or blue shading i feel like it's that finishing touch that would have made the symbiote suit in marvel spider-man 2 pop even more and now imagine if we got a cell shaded symbiote suit that had either the purple or the blue shading particularly the blue shading if we're going off the animated series and then again made the shape of the suit the look of it pretty much modeling after the animated series look. You know, it's kind of similar to what they ended up doing with the animated series suit for Miles in Spider-Man Miles Morales, the way that they changed the overall body type essentially to match that of the look from the animated series. I think having that, but with the symbiote suit and then seeing the blue shading would be, oh my goodness, just come on, please, Insomniac, do this. Next up, and this is a personal favorite of mine, although this isn't a very uncommon pick, that's Agent Venom. This would just be crazy if it actually ended up happening. I'm such a huge fan of this design this more tactical armored look you know imagine if the suit even had some guns in the holsters of course guns that you couldn't use but this design just works so well and i don't think a flash thompson is going to be mentioned or pop up in spider-man 2 in any way shape or form so i feel like there's no reason to be holding out on a suit like this a design like this for marvel spider-man 2 because i doubt that they're going to be making an agent venom game anytime soon as cool as that would be just imagine everything you saw in the marvel spider-man 2 gameplay demo but with the agent venom skin on top okay like come on and then following that i got a suit that's a bit more obscure a suit that i feel like a 
lot of people don't know about and it comes from the Venomverse comic and that's Poison. Now there's actually a couple of interpretations of Poison, one of which was actually an alternate suit in one of the previous Spider-Man games, but I'm talking about the one that comes from the Venomverse run, you know, the all white suit that looks very alien like in its nature and that also has the black logo on the chest with the tendrils, you know, dangling off the sides. This is just no doubt about it. One of the cooler Spider-Man designs that we've ever gotten. Honestly, it looks so sick and it would be even cooler to be able to use this in game. Think about what I just said about Agent Venom, but now again, plop the poison symbiote suit in place of that. And then imagine as well, if they match sort of the color of the suit with the symbiote tendril attacks that you do, it would just make it that much cooler. And then following that, I have the spectacular Spider-Man symbiote suit, but don't get me wrong. I want the spectacular Spider-Man red and blues in there as well. This is another situation like with the Raimi suit, just where that added bit of immersion needs to be in there having the red and blue spectacular spider-man suit and then as well the symbiote version to be able to select them both switch between them at any time that would be a dream come true and while i doubt this could happen and i feel like i'm asking for too much imagine again if insomniac went that extra mile or extra 10 miles in this case and had every variation of the symbiote suit from spectacular spider-man when you see the symbiote slowly taking over peter but then the question becomes is it going to be another cell shaded suit or is it going to be more realistic and have the same build of the character from the show at first i would have said they have to go with the cell shaded but honestly tango ted's made a really good mod that looks more realistic and again has that same build from the show that I think works pretty well so I'll be honest with you I won't mind if they go in either direction and then finally to close out the list that I got for you guys here today I have the superior spider-man symbiote suit but this one comes with a little bit of a caveat okay because in the comics or in most panels that you see this suit in it's got these crazy teeth coming out which look amazing and look very scary and would be so cool to have in the game but won't really work that well in cutscenes. I can imagine if we played through that gameplay demo we got from the PlayStation Showcase, but with the superior Spider-Man symbiote suit and the teeth were poking out, it would look a little bit weird. Thankfully, there's also a version without the teeth, but honestly, I hope the teeth stay there in gameplay. I doubt this is what's going to happen, but that would be a cool way to have the best of both worlds. And it would also help me fulfill the dream of being able to play as Venom in some way if Venom isn't actually playable in this game. Or who knows, if they're still going to have suit powers in this this game imagine if the superior symbiote suit had a suit power that lets it go like venom mode and then you see the teeth plus this is just such a good design think about it as well we have the iron spider arms as part of peter's normal move set we haven't seen what it looks like when peter's fighting without the symbiote but we know from the reveal trailer that he's got those spider arms and that is a very superior spider-man thing and would very easily transition into the symbiote version of the suit and although it's a word that i've been using a lot in this video i'm sure for a lot of people out there that are a huge fan of the superior spider-man story storyline it would give you that immersion that you're looking for and as a side note I've seen a lot of people say that they hope they actually do the superior spider-man storyline in the games and oh like, I just could not disagree more don't get me wrong interesting idea for a run some pretty cool alternate suits that we're definitely going to be getting from it but in terms of implementing that into the games I don't want it. I don't know that's my personal opinion I know some people are going to disagree but I'm just wanting to get that out there and with that being said that rounds out the list of seven symbiote suits that I really want to see in Marvel Spider-Man 2 again hoping that what that theory was at the beginning of the video ends up being the case because it would be awesome to have a bunch of you know just regular Spider-Man suits to choose from and then as well a ton of symbiote suits to choose from so that you can switch and alternate between them but now comes the most important part my list is not definitive and I encourage you guys to jump down into the comment section below right now and give me your list what symbiote suits do you want to see in marvel spider-man 2 i want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments of course i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later